Hey, what's going on YouTube? I am back with another story time. And if you do like these story times, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. In any case, this is the story of some river rafting. Uh, so one summer, uh, my basically my sisters and her kids came out and visited and whatnot. And we all wanted something to do, nice summer vacation type activity. And what better to do in Colorado than some outdoor activities? There is so much outdoor activities to do in Colorado. It's like, yeah, you really got to be an outdoorsy person to really appreciate all that Colorado has to offer. You know, in the summer, it's really popular, like mountain bike and rock climb and river raft and kayak and all that good stuff. So as sort of a family little get together thing, my folks decided to set up a river rafting little um, little thing up in all right, it was, I mean, it was basically, it was outside Colorado. It was, it was basically in between, somewhere in between Steamboat and Colorado Springs. I don't remember, small mountain town area, but basically right on the Colorado, was it the Colorado River? I think it was the Colorado River. Uh, but basically, I, I, you know, I enjoy river rafting and all, but you know, knowing that we're taking nieces and whatnot, I knew this wasn't going to be that crazy of an intense of a, of a river rafting ride. It was going to be a pretty easy day. And what better way to have a nice, easy river rafting day than to have a couple edible brownies? And this was really in my time where I was heavy on the edibles. So it wasn't like I was taking too much of a risk. I knew my dosages well with my edibles here. I mean, I had a giant freshly made pan of brownies I had in my gallon Ziploc bag so I had a couple of those and uh, let it kick in I, I basically well I mean I waited until left that way it was that it was like 45 minutes an hour outside of uh, Colorado Springs and basically because it, it, it kind of just started to kick in at the perfect time when we were just arriving so Take those edibles, Nisa, you know, we packed ourselves in the, in the Jeep and whatnot. We head on down and uh, just usual family affair kind of thing going, going up, whatever, you know, feeling like a pretty boring time so far, other than some nice sightseeing, uh, watching uh, the scenery. And then it just, it nice, it's in. As soon as we're like getting things, you know, geared up with our life vests and whatnot as we're there, it's just, it's just, this body high was hitting me and it, it's like the perfect time because if I really had to like interact too much at peak edible time, probably wouldn't be the greatest to like, it probably would be a little bit more apparent to my uh, folks that I was, I was high. I'm usually pretty good about it, but you know, a deep heavy edible, sometimes it's a little hard to, uh, to hide it. So it was like perfect timing to like get in that raft and so we're like sitting in a way and we're dealing with stuff and we're looking around to where me being high is not apparent at all and it was pretty nice i had a nice solid head high through and through and it was just like it just oh it just made it so much better the thing is i am very burn prone and in that dry climate and whatnot one application of sunscreen for that i think it was like a whole six hour thing we did basically i only applied sunscreen once so being high did not exactly help me because i felt really great at the whole time not realizing i was getting burnt to a crisp so like i i just wasn't feeling the heat i wasn't feeling the the warmth of the burn so much it just felt like a nice cool day you know on the on the river rafting and whatnot there really wasn't you know and it was pretty much as i expected there was a little bit of bumpiness there was some fun parts but it they pretty much did like the the easy going class of uh river there it wasn't too intense by any means uh, but yeah it was uh by the end getting off it was uh it was going back that's what hit me and uh it just like was setting in you feel that sunburn just kind of hitting in but my high was still there so it was it was kind of helping fiend off any of like the pain and whatnot but <laughs> when we got in the car my brother it became apparent to him because i was still like mid high there and he was like you took some edibles didn't you I was like, yeah it's like those were that's what those brownies were for it's like yeah 
but then it was a very apparent like oh man you're you're burnt you are burnt so we get back and whatnot and i am like it's wearing off and i'm starting to feel that burn more and it was it was bad it was bad to the point where like i had so like my arms and whatnot hurt and whatnot but it was my legs my legs freaking killed me to where like i literally had to lay in bed the next day and like not walk around i had to like but like lidocaine and aloe and whatnot and my i don't know like that burn was is different because after that like my skin healed but it also got really dry to where it just kept healing and was just itchy for the next like two weeks after it was it was it was gnarly it was bad it was it was pretty bad <laughs> and and all thanks to me being too high to realize i was just getting burnt to a crisp the whole time i just yeah it, it was literally because it took about like a week to fully heal back to normal and then it was another two weeks of just just, just unbearable itchiness of just dry skin i just oh it was bad it was bad so yeah uh, you gotta learn if you if you're prone to sunburn and you're taking edibles be aware <laughs> add that sunscreen still you're out and about like you just put a timer in your head like every two hours put that sunscreen on because like that edible just made it feel like nothing for the long longest time and it just made it so much worse but yeah, that was uh, that was my family outing with uh, river rafting and whatnot. It was a, it's a pretty fond memory, but an annoying one too with the, uh, the sunburn. Still, just the, the it's making my eight legs itch just thinking about it right now. So yeah. In any case, if you do like these story times, please like, subscribe, ring that bell.